Hey everyone, welcome back to Growing Snow. So in today's video, I'm going to talk about the space behind me here. Uh, this is really the first product I started, um, just in general clearing that space. Um, it was kind of slow going, um, adding to that, so it was a bigger project, but I'll show you that space. Okay, so this is the area that really started it all. Um, so as you kind of step back in this way, just kind of a giant oval in the center of the yard. So as I pan to my right, this is the back of the house where the patio would be and then the fire pit. So then as you pan back this way, this is kind of our giant focal point for the region. So um, over here is our other shed with our border flower bed and the oval here. So I will post several pictures of this area. This was a long project. My dad actually helped me several different weekends. Um, so from here um, over to here and then the end cap here, this was all grass. This tree was here and then I kind of wanted to balance that with a new tree and then all the plants I filled in. I really only did at first this square here aunt had sent me as a gift um, some daylilies and that really started this space and I'll post a picture it was just a square of mulch and just those daylilies um, and then I really kind of took off from there so at first um, there really wasn't anything in here uh, aside from like I said the one tree and daylilies um, so from there um, I added um, I had some people give me different plants but I added in um, some uh, autumn joy sedum here and then some bee balm it was in with it so right there and then this is some new bee balm I planted this year um, so put this off to the side of the daylilies and then my two bigger hostas here so this is empress Wu and then Wu la la they're actually sibling pairs of uh, same type of hosta so this one gets pretty big so uh, again it's towards the end of the season the leaves are kind of starting to yellow and fade um, but you can see how big these leaves are and I would say it's probably a good three feet wide right now and a good two feet tall and then of course the flower stalks um, so I put those in um, and then really that season, so this would have been last growing season, so 2021, I then added more hostas there and there and here. Um, also in this area, I added in several daylilies. So I'll have several pictures of the different types of daylilies. Um, but I added these three and then this ring so this one is different but these are the same as the three over there um, and they are early bird cardinal and then this is kind of a peach flower of a daylily and i'll post a picture of that as well Um, so then in there, um, last year I did put in a hydrangea, I'll post pictures, it's seen better days, but let me go around there. So this was actually in honor of my late grandmother that passed, um, about a year ago. Um, so it is a, um, Summer Crush hydrangea, it is the pink red variety, so again, seen better days, but I'll post the beautiful blooms there, but it looks good with this gazing bulb. And I actually did get that from her. So this is kind of like the tribute space in my garden area for her. Um, so this would have been put in last year. 
and then also last year I put in this river birch tree so this kind of balances out the whole space um, but I actually got this uh, as a gift uh, my staff uh, gave me a gift card um, to a place that I frequent and got this tree so that got in the ground last year I'll post pictures of that endeavor but you can see the leaves are turning yellow uh, for fall uh, but I just I can't wait for this to take off I would say probably it's gotten a good foot taller this year uh, just with the growth it's had um, and then towards the end here I did put this hosta in last year as well um, and then this space so this area I'm gonna clean up a little bit more it um, I would like it to get some more Sun but this is black-eyed Susan here and then this is oh, I'm sorry this is black-eyed Susan right here and then this is an echinacea this did not come back this year these were here last year um, but this one didn't reflower um, and then I did go ahead and add in more echinacea here but again with this being here I want to try to clear some of this out to get a little bit more sun here um, and then as we pan over this direction then this is the hill um, so more to change and add and alter here um, this was actually heavily mulched last year um, but this does tend to kind of wash out especially with the hill being here so I need to remulch that probably next season as well um, the only other thing I changed this year so like I said I added in these echinacea here but I added in some hookera so I've got a total of five I've got one there it's got a little bit more texture to it you can see that and then these are just kind of a general purple this one's real small but kind of a goldish purple look I like the look of those um, and that one there and then this one has a little bit more texture but different than the other one and then this one actually did have bloom stalks uh, this year so you can see those so kind of added those uh, this year just to kind of fill in some spaces here I'll probably next year add in some more um, and then the other thing I do as well I do have tulips and just kind of can't really remember where exactly they are I want to say back here by this light and then the start of the daylilies there's a set there and then I think there's a set just past this light here and then I think there's one more but I can't remember if it's on this side by the hookara or if it's over here um, but those came up really nice this year uh, we'll see what they do next year we got over to this space um, like I said in a previous video, there was just a lot of stuff here. Um, probably here, there was a giant metal plate and I've got a picture of my dad holding that that I'll post, but it was like a giant plate and then the, the dirt was kind of ash-like. So we think this may have been like a fire pit area a while back. It definitely didn't show use right when I first moved in, but it definitely could have been previous. And then this is still here, but we found like picture frames um, this is here as well this is a glass bottle but we found all that in this general space here love this space this is really kind of what started it all um, so like I said I started here with these daylilies there's mr. Theo again started with those daylilies and then I really kind of started a little bit of the hill project and then kind of worked back and forth so these are kind of the two main areas at least with a lot of features in them everything else is just kind of small accented throughout the yard so that is the that's really the first project that i took on um, and then kind of the love of daylily so my aunt had gifted me some um, and then i had ordered oh, probably two years in a row now uh, different sets of uh, daylilies to put throughout the the yard so yeah hope you enjoyed the video